Hey there, this is a quick video to go over something interesting that we found uh, with hyperlinked PDFs coming out of Revit uh, and renaming your PDFs after they've come out. So as a quick recap, if you're using Revit 2015 R2 or newer, your PDFs come out so that all the view markers referencing other sheets are automatically hyperlinked. So we have a model open. We're going to tell it to print. We're going to use Bluebeam or Adobe PDF Writer. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to tell it to create separate PDFs for every sheet. Uh, I do that for document management, uh, uploads and downloads, and uh, document tracking. So for me, using a single PDF does not actually help. Um, because I'm using Bluebeam in this particular example, uh, there are a few things to be aware of. One, I have Bluebeam Administrator set to not prompt for a file name right there. This is important because if you're using the Adobe PDF Writer, or the Qt PDF Writer, or Bluebeam PDF Writer, if the PDF Writer gives you a chance to name the PDF differently than what Revit is expecting, all the hyperlinks will be broken in a few minutes, and we'll talk about how to fix those in a few minutes. But for now, I've told, I've told Bluebeam to automatically name the PDFs, and for the demo, we're going to use the prefix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we will leave the hyphen in there. So I've got my selected sheets picked, and I'm going to create the PDFs. Uh, I'll restart the recording after the PDFs are made. Okay, so after a few minutes, the PDFs have shown up, and what we have now is different PDFs that have the prefix at the beginning of their name, and what we would expect is that if we open the PDF and zoom in on a view marker, the hyperlinks now work. Unfortunately, what goes wrong a lot of the time is we will use some sort of renaming utility, and it may be that we just rename them manually. But in this case, uh, a lot of offices that I speak to will take their PDFs and rename them so that they can get rid of a lot of extra characters that we can't customize in the Revit interface when we're generating our PDFs. So, once we've done that, and that program is Bulk Rename Utility, which you can Google, the trouble is, now all of our PDF's hyperlinks are dead. They're still there. You can see it as you hover on it, and you can see that it's indicating it's still looking for a sheet called 123456- which doesn't exist. So the issue is, if you now click on the hyperlink, it does nothing. And in Bluebeam, if you tell it that you want to edit the action to repath it, it's already completely destroyed the link, so the link is not even there that you can edit, since this is now pointing to the file that we're in. So the trouble is, if you're renaming any of your PDFs or naming the exports from Revit manually, you won't be able to take advantage of the hyperlinks. Interestingly enough, what we found out recently is another free program that I use a lot is Notepad++. I use this for editing a lot of XML um, and a lot of installment scripts and whatnot. Well, uh, while we were experimenting with this yesterday, we discovered, uh, disclaimer, this is not supported or endorsed by any of the software manufacturers, but if you were to grab all of your PDFs that you just made and drag them simultaneously into Notepad++, you could search any one of them for one, two, three, four, five, six hyphen. And you would find that hyphen somewhere. Now, what you would have to do, and I'm certain this is automatable in some way, is you would have to do the exact same rename in Notepad++ that you did when you created your PDFs. For instance, if I say replace, and I replace that entire prefix with a blank character, and I say do this for all instances in all of my open documents, which is all of my PDFs. You'll see that it takes under a second to do. You can save all of your PDFs, and you're now done. So performing that simple find and replace in Notepad++ has 100% fixed my PDF hyperlinks, so that now I can upload these documents to a construction company, and they will not have to do the batch hyperlinking that comes in Bluebeam because the hyperlinks are already present as they should have been when I exported them from Revit, but they were missing because I edited my PDF file names. So hopefully this is useful uh, to some of you out there. I came across this yesterday because a construction company I was working with uh, did not realize that Revit actually automatically hyperlinked files since last year. 
Turns out they didn't realize this because they have a company standard of renaming the PDFs, so none of the hyperlinks ever worked. Uh, we've been testing this process all day though, and as long as you are very regimented about doing the exact same renames in all of the documents, uh, it's worked 100% of the time so far. So my recommendations for that are as follows. Regardless of your PDF uh, printer that you're using, I almost always recommend basically a job number as the prefix. So if it's six characters or four characters in your office, uh, do that. But what I've also run into is that some companies, when they're renaming their PDFs, they will do things like they will change the hyphen back to a period since the PDF writer won't do it, or they will change all of the spaces to underscores, do something strange kind of like that. Just keep in mind that whatever you do to the PDF, you have to be able to do reliably uh, in Notepad++. And for that reason, I like to keep it very basic where I like to have a six digit and then I can tell it I'm gonna leave the word sheet that Revit puts there and basically I can tell it to delete the exact same 17 characters, which is where Notepad, I'm sorry, that's where uh, bulk rename utility really shines is you can just tell it remove 17 characters. Uh, that's also handy because then in Notepad++ you're doing a single find and replace instead of having to hunt and pack for hyphens that follow A2 and hyphens that follow A3. Anyway, uh, if you have any more questions about getting this to work or if you think it could add value, uh, you're happy to or you're free to give me an email and uh, I can run through it again with you. Have a good day.